this is Mr. Ford from MrFordsClass.com, and I'm going to show you really quickly how to convert your base 10, which is what we learned how to count with in kindergarten, to base 2, which is binary, to base 16, which is hex. It's fairly simple if you do it this way. There are other websites that show you different things, but this is what I found work for both myself and my students. First, we start with the number 0. Base 2 and base 16 is also 0. So we write four zeros up here and one zero here. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to play a clapping game. For those of you who have ever had music, you know about clapping out the music. You'll have rest and then a beat and rest and a beat and a rest and a beat. Now, as stupid as this may seem, this is actually going to work and get you this concept pretty simple. So we're going to start with rest, beat, 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 rest, beat. And you get the picture, and it follows that rhythm all the way down. Now, one plus one is what? It's two, right? So now instead of rest, beat, rest, beat, we're going to go one plus one equals two. So we're going to go rest, rest, clap, clap. Rest, rest, clap, clap. Rest, rest, clap, clap. Rest, rest, clap. Clap, clap, rest, rest, clap, clap, rest, rest, clap, clap. We're creating our binary chart right here. One plus one is two. Two plus two is four. Now you have rest, 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 clap, 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 clap. Rest, 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 clap, 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 clap. Rest, 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 rest. One, two. Three, four. Rest, 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 rest. One, two, three, four. One plus one is two. Two plus two is four. Four plus four is eight. Now we have rest, 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 then clap the rest of the eight. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight rests. And then we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If you were to see one zero zero one, you would know in binary this is the number nine. If you saw one one zero one, you know this would be thirteen in binary. Notice that fifteen is one 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 one. This gives you a common start and stop point so you can double check your work. When you begin, you should have all zeros. When you end in binary, you should have all ones. This is an easy way to check yourself. If it doesn't match up, you know that you lost the beat somewhere. Now let's look at base 16 or hex. We have our numbers 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. Now here's where hex does something a little bit different. It, instead of continuing with numbers, we're going to add letters to this. So we're going to go with our first letter, A, B, C, D, E, and F. And here's our conversions. So if we have the number 7, we know in binary 0, 1, 1, 1, or in hex it is 7. Again, your start and stop points are your keys to know if you did a mistake or if you did it right. You should start with zeros across the board. You should end with 15, all ones, and an F. If you forget this, you will fail your quiz or your test. So don't forget, the last letter is F, or you will fail. That's a quick conversion to base 10, which is counting our fingers, to base 2 to base 16.